Hey everybody, it's Crazy Mango Shine. We hope you guys are having an amazing day. Um, so we are here, second episode of ha um, House of the I was about to say How to Train Your Dragon. House of the Dragon. Um, and oh god, I've been trying to avoid spoilers like the fucking plague. I've seen like two things, but I've avoided it. Again, I'm joined by the voice of God, Tomas. Hello. There he is. <laughs> um, and yeah. It's, oh, it's been stressful. So without further ado, we're just going to get straight into this. Uh, remember to do the usual. Uh, remember to like, subscribe, and comment if you enjoyed this video. And yeah, let's get into this episode! Looking forward to Sir Kristen's... Will you please explain? <laughs> Look at that! There's all the guards! Hottie. <laughs> but he's evil, so we can't like him. He is not 16! No, he looks like he's in his twenties. <laughs> oh, wonder they where pinched all the... my coins. I was about to say, wonder where all the money went. <laughs> you mustn't be shaken by this. You mustn't be shaken by that. <laughs> sure. Okay. Okay, mate. I'll just totally be okay for the loss of a child. But what you've done to to, to Micah? <laughs> oh. oh. She wants to feel her feelings. She doesn't want to be comforted and mm. told, stop being such a hysterical oh, no. bitch. Just let her cry. Let her cry it out. Talk. Daughter, listen to me. We will mourn as we must, but some good may yet come of this. Uh. Oh, ho, ho. mate. And where, and where were you? The <laughs> King's guard. I was abed, Your Grace, having ordered the night's watch. Abed. Abed! Just gonna say, really good acting. I'm very impressed. So I'm loving this. I'm loving the his Mayor performance Grace. this season. So Charles. good. I would do more than that. A funeral progress. Let them see the child. Let them look upon the works of this pretender to the Jesus. Birth. I will not have my little son's body dragged through the street like a dead dog. Not dragged, honored! Your Grace. No. Oh, I mean, I hate the douchebag, but again, I think I'm on Let his side. Like, if that was my kid, no way. Let the silent sisters ready the prince for his final journey. And riding behind him, his mother the queen, and with her the queen dowager. No, I do not wish to be a spectacle. The realm must see the sorrow of the crown. A sorrow best expressed through its most gentle selves. Oh, expressed through women? Not getting the I king think to you go. All agree, the king. <laughs> oh, Helena. Oh, poor darling. Purest soul in the greens. Honestly, give all her pain to the men who put the suffering upon that girl. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Excuse me. Oh no. I was, I was oh God, which one's the bad one? <laughs> <laughs> Tommy. Oh! Oh, I hate it. Yuck! No, why would you do that? Mm. But I cannot vouch for his grace. Oh! 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 Oh, no! Oh, God. Oh, God. I don't think I could possibly blame Aegon for this. Oh, no, definitely not. Again, that's like his child. Oh, damn. The cinematography is so good. God, I wish we had this quality in the last couple of Game of Thrones seasons. Mm-hmm. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh my God. Please don't. Oh, oh God. It Tension is, is so good. Clear. And they are accusing me of... Having a hand in this. It appears so. Poor Rhaenyra. There have been needed in the gullet and I can watch for movements from King's Landing. No. Grief, he's handsome. So now awesome. that he's got a less he's... stupid haircut. Dude, he's so cute this season. <laughs> time when we... Having lost Damon, you little snake. An action taken in haste. Mind yourself. 
Yes. Yes, Queen. Grandma Dragon ain't taking your shit. <laughs> Then, suspiciously quiet Damon, what are your thoughts? Oh, she picked that up real <laughs> quick! Oh! I was clear in my instructions. Eamon, the brother of Egon the Usurper. I cannot be responsible cannot for Cannot be responsible. Kind of, yeah, I uh, don't know. Well, uh... To the little child. You said that it was your aim to spill Hightower blood. Well, if not Eamon, then anyone would do. No. You have wounded me. Weakened my claim to the throne, my ability to raise an army, my standing among my own council. I said, no. I don't believe you. <laughs> I love that she smells bullshit. Yes, Rhaenyra. But now I have seen that your heart belongs only to you. And when I was a child, I took this as a challenge, but I'm old enough, or have you used me as a tool with which to grasp at your stolen inheritance? <laughs> oh. Definitely hit a nerve. Do you accept me as your oh, queen? It's really good. I'm gonna say this is fantastic. I'm yeah. gonna say yeah, it's really good. <laughs> you know when we're dead quiet, that's really good. You did not lose it. You gave it to yep. me. Or did he merely use you as a tool to put me in my place because he was afraid of me? Shine his own. He was not afraid of you, Damon. He could not trust you. You struck down a child. Was a mistake. You're pathetic. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, All these Targaryen women, dude, getting fucked around by the men around them. Literally, can I just say that last five minutes, fucking Chef's kiss, amazing. Oh. <laughs> That's just as good as the Rhaenyra and Alicent. Yes. Thing. Just gonna give it a <laughs> a mini golf clap. It was fantastic. <laughs> oh. oh, that fox tail. Oh, I oh. love it. He's such a cool design, Corexus. Now go back to bed with the bag of burger rings. Helena, <laughs> you've earned it. Oh. oh. What? Oh, bless her. Just treated like a mere like object almost. Ah, uh, such is the fate of women in this show. Mm. It's annoying that Sir Kristen has those big doe eyes that make him look so innocent and adorable. <laughs> Please, my lord. Look at that! Pathetic. Have you told anyone? What are you taking me for? <laughs> She's keen to keep it a secret. Oh, how can I stay mad at you? Look at the face. Nah, I think he's a douchebag. <laughs> Look at that hack dog expression. <laughs> you know why? Because he was caught sleeping with the queen. Blech. Or queen mother, sorry. What? Are you going to say anything? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> I do not. The white cloak is a symbol of our purity. Our fidelity. Oh. Ugh. Damn, he projecting hard. Where were you when Jaehaerys was murdered? Oh, oh my God! <laughs> oh ever. Jesus! But if you thought to go upstairs, where were you? Oh, come on. Yeah, bitch. Get him, Eric. No small protector. Surely, once she ascended, she should have. Oh, brother! It's a thief and a traitor to the crown. <laughs> These are like, ah, uh, just, <laughs> just gonna go, just gonna go eat my dinner elsewhere, excuse me. Yeah, I did ask for this drama. <laughs> I was trying to relax. <laughs> it's off duty time. As your brother betrays us. <laughs> and then the young prince is murdered on your watch. Your what? Son. Matt, you cannot think what that I, I did think this. has no relevance. Oh. Is he okay? I think he did. Someone knock him in the head. What is? Oh. And now you must restore it. How am I to do that? Oh no! By changing your cloak, I guess. <laughs> I think something far worse, unfortunately. You will go to Dragonstone and strike down Rhaenyra in her own halls. But you would send me to my death or to triumph. No, he knows he'll die! Oh. This makes me pissed off. 
As you command. <laughs> Why? No! We're getting character developed, Tommy? You know, what is went. this? Aaron Hall, I would think. This Lena or Bela? This is Bela. It's hard. With fathers. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> strong? Oh! He was gentle. And fierce. My god! They're actually mentioning it! Oh. They called him Breakbones. <laughs> he loved us. Oh, that makes me so happy. Of course he did. Oh, hello. Cover oh. your eyes, Tommy! No, I'm joking. <laughs> I think I saw an areola. <laughs> Children, cover <laughs> your eyes. My goodness. Oh, Aemond. He's afraid of me. As well, he should be. Are we seeing some mommy issues? I def. Oh. Oh, I sort of feel bad for him. I do regret that business with Luke. I lost my temper that day. I am sorry for it. Oh, his eye! Sounds different. Mm. The sapphire, I think it was? But remind you only that when princes lose their temper, it is often others who suffer. Oh, good line. I still have no idea who this is. So who is this? Uh... The that rescued Corliss, apparently. I'm trying to. Did I write it down last week? <laughs> Alan, there it is. Yeah, Alan, there well, we you go. May as you're and alone. then Adam is the taller one. Okay. Ooh! Get it, Granny Todd. <laughs> we love it. But neither can he allow her to command him. Mm. Pity. I have on occasion found that to be quite enjoyable. <laughs> <laughs> Get it! <laughs> In the meantime, I am here. Oh. We will not let the Queen falter. Oh. oh, bless her. You aided them in denying me my birthright. I took profit from an inevitability. I regret it now. I'm sure you do. <laughs> now that it's not benefiting her. Who are you? <laughs> For how long? Oh, <laughs> a week? Or forever, I do not know. Oh, dude. Uh, the fucking reading her! <laughs> Go Rhaenyra! <laughs> Who did? The high towers, I can only assume. The hand. He did not like it when I showed my teeth. Otto. But I thank him. Yes. Oh, they will never accept me. I might as well have remained a whore. Just use her as a means to an end. How did you get that scar? Which scar? The one on her neck. I was ah. gonna say as well. I was like, that's very noticeable. Oh, Jesus. Oh, shit. Oh, bro! You totally had everyone on your side, except now you've just gone and hung everyone. Mm. Oh, the dog! <laughs> Yay, at least the dog lives happily ever after. And now you can find someone who loves you, dog. I know, go off into the wild. Go bring you in there just to kick you. I was going to say, go to the north. They'll look after you there. What have you done? Yeah, yeah, good question actually, Otto. First time ever I went inside. Oh. I had them hanged. <laughs> oh! <laughs> and their wives and children gather now at our gates to weep and curse your name! Yeah. Yeah, I know, you sort of, that sort of backfired on you, mate. You shat the bed. Completely. Shat the bed, Aegon. We must act. Sir Kristen Cole has acted. <laughs> the slow turn. He was right about you. Oh! Oh! oh. Maybe king. Are you sure, <laughs> mate? Remove your badge, Sir Otto. <gasps> oh! 
the thick plottons. Oh, ho, ho! the thick soup. Ooh. I'm starting to get a little worried you that uh, Laris Strong might be in the. Oh, hundred percent. Promotion. Hundred percent. It's literally all in the palm of his hand now. We all said it last week. Give it to Cole. <gasps> no, would not. No. Are they what? <laughs> Tell me, even Kristen Cole is a dog. Aegon! Of all people! Hundred over it. My new hand will be a steel fist. Oh my yeah. god. Tommy! <laughs> Chimey? Tommy! Why would you let me watch this? <laughs> <laughs> this is so uncomfortable. This is insane! Oh my god! Oh. Kristen, this is what you get, bitch. <laughs> I love this so much! <laughs> There's a Valarian ship in the harbour, bound for Mir by way of Pentos. I will see that you are given passage. I'm not so unworldly as to let you fly free. I am... Thank you. Miss Aria will be leaving us. Let her collect her so things. Eric with an E is with the Rhaenyra. Yeah. It's Eric with an A. Who, yeah. is who is the not. evil the evil twin. Not evil twin, but he's sent on the assassination attempt before, but just talk about Rhaenyra. Very kind queen. She didn't need to do that. She could have just kept her a prisoner. Oh! oh because she was just in the room. <gasps> quick, call an emergency meeting. Quick, 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 emergency <laughs> meeting! <laughs> Tommy, I'm stressing this episode. My god! <laughs> Oh my god. This is peak. This is so good. Honestly, I'm surprised. And then he's going to get lost because he doesn't know his way around Dragonstone. I know. <laughs> it's going to turn into blood and cheese this all over again. Plan. Yep, she's over 30 now. She can't put her neck in the right position. <laughs> oh. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Do you want the braid or not? <laughs> She's feeling bit. Oh! What the fuck? I've lost track of I've who's who. I don't honest. know. Who is it? It's been a strange day. I'm restless. I'll stand this evening's duty. Sure, mate. Get the night off? Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh my god. Oh, Jesus. This is even. Attention. This is more. Out of this is more. The entire episode. This is more tense than last week. Believe me, I had no choice. I don't understand. Brother! Why can't you just come and join us over here? I know. Why do you have to fight? Oh, God. They're going to fight. I'm not going to know which I one know. it is. Okay, the one on the other side is the good brother. <laughs> oh. I get decked. Oh, oh my god! Oh. oh, get up, please, get up, get up! Which? Which is Eric? I fucking know! I don't know! Oh my god. Fall together. You party dogs! I still love you, brother. Oh, oh my god! Mark? Oh! 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 You know. Oh, oh hi, yeah. Like we need to pause for a hot me. second. Jesus Christ! Oh, oh, oh. that was oh, that was a lot. I'm a little traumatized. <laughs> I need to get a quick breath before we continue. I know. Can we just take a second? <laughs> that was so good, but also traumatizing. Welcome back to the world of Game of Thrones, everyone. <laughs> Jesus! Oh my God! Okay. Ooh. Okay. Ready. So deep breaths. Okay, I'm ready as well. Why would you have to do that? This... Poor thing. Deep She's been through enough. I'll oh. probably never be able to completely believe that that was the right one. He's young and unschooled. His faith is in steel and bone. He has not belonged. How young to you. can he be? He has to be at least forty. 
<laughs> I think it means Aegon, not Kristen. Oh. <laughs> Who'll take more kindly to instruction? Daron may yet help oh. in weeks to come. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. I just thought they just Go written him out of existence. Okay. I have sinned. Oh. No. Why would you? Yeah, I know, mate. I do Girl, why would you? you? You shit at hide to get Allison. I know, you show it on your face 24-7. I think Allison is just too pure for her own good. Like, she wants to be good for everyone. Like, please everybody's needs. But you, it's impossible to do that. Aww. Aww. No, wait, no, I hate you. I mean, I hate him, but also... Why am I empathizing with the douchebag? <laughs> this show's doing a great job of that. It's annoying, but it's... <sighs> Where are you going? No. No, girl. And when your baby needs you, you're going to go and fuck this bed. This is my problem. Oh, well. This is my problem with her. But oh well. Good. Good. Take it out on him. Slap him harder. <laughs> <laughs> it's like she's being a teenager again because she was never really able to do that. Yeah, I think so. She was brought up to marry some dude who ended up being the king that was like 30 years older than her. Yeah. Oh! Um, Renita was off being a teenager. Bro! Um, what an episode! <laughs> that was... Where to begin? <laughs> where to begin? <laughs> we'll go off of your thoughts, Tommy. Where do you want to start? <laughs> um, let's start with... Uh, Aegon, no, not Aegon. Who's that other one? Damon. Damon, yeah. Uh, oh, interesting place to start. Let's do it. You go first. Well, Damon's like <sighs> just completely cracked it <laughs> with Rhaenyra and run away. Oh, Damon. Sorry, oh, no. I thought you were talking about Aemon. Damon. Sorry. Oh nah. <laughs> we could come back to Aemon, but he didn't do a whole lot this no, time. No, he but, didn't. He was um, in like one scene, so he had mummy issues. <laughs> oh, like major. <laughs> Sorry, Damon. It's like a. Um, so Damon and Rhaenyra had that incredible scene together. That was so good. I feel like we haven't had dialogue like that. It's a good five minutes. Yeah, we haven't had a good dialogue moment like that in a, quite a while. Like, that was so good to have that. It was just great. Uh, again, just, I love how me and you were just dead silent, said nothing. Um, oh. and then we were like, dude, this is fucking really good. <laughs> Yeah, Damon is still trying to blame everyone else. Yeah. Just, just absolutely will not take any responsibility for the shit that he does. Oh, I don't yeah. believe for a second that that was a mistake. I don't think so either. Because I, because he kept saying, like, I don't know what you're talking about, and da 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 But I think at the very end, there was that one line that he said. Yeah, he said, like, it was a mistake. So in a way, I feel like he sort of admitted into what he did, into basically being like, I did order that stuff but he doesn't want to take responsibility for the fact that the child did get killed which is like damon like again this is what we were talking about last time is like he has so many issues like with the whole thing with Vis like again this was brought up in the fight like viserys rhaenyra becoming like having like being the heir to the throne um and then yeah the subject of viserys basically making rhaenyra the heir so that damon didn't become the heir and then oh that was <laughs> That was a really good line. And then, yeah, the whole thing about the kid. Yeah, I think it's just him constantly deflecting. And now that Rhaenyra isn't taking any of his shit, he has to sort of, I guess, tuck tail between his legs and sort of do his own thing, I guess. He won't be controlled, as Rain has said as well. So a lot of uh, delusion coming out of Damon. I don't know if he actually believes his own crap, but... Rhaenyra is not putting up with any of that shit. No, which is what I love. I was like, oh, thank the fucking lord. Because I think last season, I think there was, you know, the girl with the hot eye. She had the rose-colored glasses on, I think, a little bit because she was so in love with her uncle. Um, and she just wanted it to be sort of happy family sort of thing, which is fair. She's been through so much shit. But I think now that they're in the middle of the war and then this happened, like, she actually wanted to get the claim to the throne just properly. She didn't want it to be through, like, this sort of assassination attempts and all this stuff. Um, and to have that done by her husband, I think now she's like, nah, I can't stand this shit. I just need to, you know, say my piece and then he needs to do whatever he needs to do necessary in a way. So, where would you like to go next? Ooh, I mean... I Which mean, are the juicy fruit. Dude, there's so, 
<laughs> There's so much juicy shit in this episode, actually. I think <laughs> the thing that whip not whiplashed me, but I was just so... The tension was built so well for the assassination attempt on Rhaenyra. Let's just touch upon that. I think there was a lot of heavy layers to that with the brothers, which made me a little bit sad, which was built off of the scene with Kristen, which we'll speak about Kristen as a whole later, but... I, I felt really. You shoot him. I'm the real Sir Eric. <laughs> I feel really bad for the brothers in a way, and I I don't know who was that at the end. Like maybe it was the other guy, Eric, or maybe it was Eric. Whichever brother it was, it seems like you know. I think <laughs> I think both of the brothers were stricken by grief for the fact that they had to fight each other, and I think they didn't, but they had to because that was what they believed in, which was I think so heartbreaking and. Ugh. I mean, like, just the scene was so well done, was so well shot as well. And just, the, again, the tension was building so beautifully done. And just, yeah, I think that just, yeah, again, just that grief between the brothers and him saying, like, forgive me. I was like, oh, I sort of feel really bad. I just think, like, I think maybe the grief of having to have struck down his brother was like, I can't do this anymore sort of thing, which is, I don't know. We don't see that often in Game of Thrones in that sort of way. So I feel like that was just really really sad but also in a way bittersweet and beautifully done yeah very much yeah. it was it, it was heartbreaking i wanted to cry i did too i was just in shock i was like fucking hell i was like oh my god like this is a so well done i'm just sitting here in shock and then sir Kristen. <sighs> yes let's talk about him my god deflection much um very much like damon last episode he was heavy on the deflection this episode yeah i think like you said, in that mo in the sort of like that moment with him near the the kids' bedrooms and watching it, you do sort of feel for him in a way, like that, you know, the puppy dog eye sort of thing. You do feel for him, but then he goes and acts like a douchebag, and it's like, yeah. no, I have no love for you at all, dude. And then him becoming the hand of the king is insane. Oh God. Please tell me that's not a permanent thing. <laughs> I hope not. I can't remember if that happens in the book, but like, even even though it doesn't, in a way I love it because it's like, oh shit, mate! Like you wanted to rise up, you wanted you in a way like I don't know for his douchebaggery. This is what he deserves. I want to see him crumble so bad. <laughs> well, well, see if it happens soon because Jesus Christ, is he giving me the shits? I know oh, he's so God. fucking annoying. Um. Let's talk about the beginning of the episode, if we want to, about the whole thing with using women as tools of grief, especially with the whole oh, funeral yeah. thing. That was so brilliant and sad and heartbreaking in the world of Game of Thrones. Because we, you and I have talked about this a lot, and I think the whole internet has done this, where in the world of Game of Thrones, women are always used to the advantage of men and to gain favour in certain areas, whether it's grief, you know, sexual favour or favour in the higher-ups of, like, kingdoms. In this, I don't know, this was just so dark. Seeing the body of that little boy in the, in, like, being, like, th oh. shown throughout the city. Poor Helena sitting there having, like, a minor heart attack and panic attack. I just felt so sad for that poor, poor girl. And, yeah, in a way, also for Alicent, I felt for her heavily because she was like, I don't want to be a spectacle, but the dad's like, nah, you need to be there. Like, you need to be the source of where we get the favor from. It's like, ugh. Like, I do not like that, but just... Uh, the way they did it is so good, so bad. Oh, it was oh. really awful, and the kid's head was jiggling I his know, neck, and, and it's, like, neck. stapled? Oh, I watch. No. Stapled? It literally <laughs> was, though! It's, like... It's like masking tape. <laughs> <laughs> it was, bleh. Yuck. I didn't like it, but it was just well, so well done, and so, like... It was meant to disgust you and just be like, ugh, like, no, this is not, not okay. And then him being like, no, the king can't be, ob like, subjected to that. He has to stay in the castle. I was like, F dude, oh my god, that's insane. But, yeah, oh god. I think, as a whole, I think this episode was really, really good. Compared to last episode, I think, like, the dialogue in this episode, tension building-wise, not only for, like, certain parts of the episode, but even towards, like, the whole war that's going to eventually happen. It's just, yeah, I think it's been really well done. Yep. Uh, season 1 did a lot of building, and Season 2 has come, just knocked it out of the park twice in a row. Definitely, 100%. I think, yeah, like you said, the Season 1 was, like, the building blocks, 
not perfect building blocks in my opinion, but I think now it's starting to really take off because they're able to like, they don't need to introduce everything anymore. It's like, we can just go straight into it. We don't need to worry about anything else about world building necessarily. There is a minor exception to that rule and that's the the blacksmith character and then yes. also the brothers. What the two new brothers. Yes. The ship people. Yes. Um, I'm sure there's a word for that. Alan and Adam. I think, yes, thank you. I think Adam has something to do with riding one of the dragons from memory, but I cannot remember. I think that's why we got that scene with him watching the dragon. Um, I think I think that was Baylor on the dragon. I'm not sure. Because uh, uh, mm. it, it didn't really it show anyone. It was just one of the dragons. <laughs> uh, Rainis uh, managed to steal the scene, as she always does. As always. Popped up like once or twice, she and that was all she needed to do. In that meeting with the... Um, with the council and she's like ah, ah no 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 that's enough like i was like yes queen step on it <laughs> get it and then her and her husband just having a moment that was very cute i liked that <laughs> oh excuse me yes that's okay completely agree um i'm looking forward to seeing where these other characters go because i have no idea at the moment same th same with me um... honestly i'm in the dark about them so i'm I don't want to go look them up or anything. I actually just want to find out what happens in the next couple of episodes, I guess. I wonder if the White Worm um, has anything else to go. I know, because they showed her at the end. So that's why I was like, oh, did, is she going to go back and tell Rhaenyra? But I guess she didn't. I think she just... I'm not sure if she did say anything. Because she said like, oh, wait, and then nothing happened. So I was like, oh, maybe maybe she might return to the castle. Who knows? Yeah, anyway, I like her. I do um, like her. She's a bit of fun. She's like if Shay were a fucking bitch. <laughs> Did yeah, I like I I like that like sort of not showdown, but I love the dialogue between her and Rhaenyra, and even talking about Damon and like again like these men who are in high like higher positions of power taking advantage of women. It's very very good dialogue yes. that I love. Always love that. Yeah, oh the dialogue scenes in this were just oh really good, really really plus. good, so good. And also anyway. Just to talk about one performance that really stood out, fucking Aegon. Oh, that acting. Dude, was again, fierce. I don't like him as a character, but I felt for him in this episode. Like that opening where he's screaming his lungs off and then he's screaming in the council. And then even at the end when he's sitting in front of the fire. And I think it's not even him crying about his child, but even maybe because of the position of being in, being a king. And then... Rhaenyra not even being, not Rhaenyra, sorry, blah, 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 I've mixed up the ladies. Alison not being able to, like, comfort him because that's just too much for her, I think. Like, she doesn't understand how to comfort her own child, so she just evaporates <laughs> and leaves towards Kristen. Well, at least not that one. Yeah, she doesn't know how to, like, deal with him. She's always had problems with Aegon. Oh, definitely. Through season one. Mm -hmm. uh. So, yeah. But, the, yeah. Episode was fantastic. Really enjoyed it. I'm very, very, very excited to see what happens next episode. I feel like it's definitely just going to keep... Like, the stakes yes. are going to get higher and higher in each episode. I'll see how we go. I kind of need to catch my breath. I'm glad I've got a whole week. <laughs> <we're>... <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Thank you for having me. Of course. Anytime, Tommy. Thank you guys so much uh, for watching this uh, reaction. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please remember to like, subscribe, and comment if you enjoyed it. And let us know what you thought of this episode because it was fucking insane. Um, just trying to think, is there anything else I need to say? Um, no. I think that's it for now. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Crazy Fango out.